The major icon of Rosh Hashanah is the sounding of the shofar. It is first mentioned in the Chumash in a listing of religious holidays in Leviticus 23 tw- verses 24 to 25, where it is called Shabbaton Zichron Teruah. The first word is a variant of the word Shabbos, meaning it is a day off from mundane work that is dedicated to religious observance. The second word is a form of the word remember, which sets a theme of past recollections and hints at future hopes. The third word refers to the blast of a trumpet, which is associated with the herald of a king or a shout of joy. In a second listing of the Jewish holidays in Numbers, it is simply called Yom Teruah, the day of the blast of the horn. The term Rosh Hashanah does not seem to be used at all in the Tanakh in referring to a religious holiday. It is used extensively in the Talmud, where it is reckoned as the anniversary of the creation of the world. The horn is important to religious literature. A shofar is a ram's horn. Related to it is a metal trumpet. Both have similar sounds and similar functions. In Numbers 10, verses 1 through 10, God commands Moshe to make two silver trumpets. Several functions are listed. The first is to gather the nation together, then command them to break camp and travel. They are also to be sounded during celebrations on holidays and when a sacrifice is brought. In addition, the trumpets are to be sounded in war as an alarm against an oppressive enemy. With these, they are meant to be a reminder before Hashem. So to speak, we are asking the Holy One, blessed be He, to remember the acts of dedication and the acts of joy we have rendered to Him, and in their merit to deliver us on the day of battle. The shofar, Riem's worm, is associated with the coronation of the kings of Israel. It is specifically mentioned when Nathan the prophet appoints Solomon to succeed David as king of Israel. It is also referred to in the Chumash with Israel described as having in them the herald of a king. In this verse, the word teruah is used, referring to the trumpet blasts given to announce the imminent arrival of the king. In this case, it is the king of the universe. Psalm 98 verse 6 is mentioned in Malchiod of the additional service where Israel is exhorted to sound shofars or shout in exultation before the king, Teruah Lifnei HaMelech. The shofar is a symbol of the long journey of the nation of Israel. It starts with the ram of Yitzchak. During that time, it has sounded out our joy of the holidays and other happy occasions. It was with us to express our total dedication to Hashem. It sounded a warning during times of war and recalled our merits before heaven. In the end of days, the great shofar will be sounded, and those that were lost in Assyria and those that were pushed away in the land of Egypt will return and pray on the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. Thank you.